YouTube, Zookeeper. The other day I did a video about the Leaf High Voltage Relay Board and there was my diagram. Today I decided to be a little bit more specific and let me zoom in on this. Oh, come on. There we go. And I apologize for taking a video of a screenshot but you know I don't have a microphone so I can't use a screen capture program on the computer. Anyway, um, I decided to go over the, the, the different pieces of the LEAF um, high voltage relay board. Um, and I, again, I don't remember what generation this is, but what, I'm like, what I'd like to show today is um, just the different pieces of the board. in a better, more clear way than my paper and pencil drawing that I did the other day. So here we have the high voltage battery represented at the bottom and then on the left side of this diagram we have the power connection on the positive side comes into the leftmost main relay contact and that voltage is passed along the wires to the fuse which is a 30 amp fuse and then to this brown connector over here. On the ground side we have the ground wire coming in again to the left side main contact in, in this orientation and that ground wire passes on over here to the black connector right here. Um, you can just about see this dark gray wire under here and this is the one that actually connects over here underneath the relay. So that is the high voltage battery connections to the relay board and basically what a person could consider to be hot if they had a battery connected and how it would normally be connected in the vehicle. Of course we are not showing the um, the safety interlock that is uh, provided in the LEAF battery that is not in this diagram because if you're doing an electric vehicle you'd have to have a safety interlock someplace um, I'm going to break the battery in the middle myself um, so I don't have a complete circuit. Next, um, these are the wires, or I should say the path, for the precharge resistor. The power comes in on the left terminal, goes through the wiring to the, um, to the uh, uh, resistor, goes through the precharge resistor to the precharge relay, and when the relay contacts are closed, this terminal supplies power to this, um, what is essentially a naked terminal, the right side terminal of the um, positive side relay. The ground side relay does not have a resistor uh, assembly connected to it in most applications and certainly not in this one. Next, these are the wires um, on what I'll call the cold side of the relays. So this is not the side that's connected to battery. It's the load side or cold side of the relay. On the positive side, the um, rightmost terminal in this view is connected to the inverter and power electronics side and then also to the um, terminal here on this black connector, two-wire black connector. Additionally, on the ground side, the right terminal of the ground main relay is connected to the left side terminal of this black connector. Here is a visual representation of a good portion of the wiring um, in this relay and I'll go over it starting with the red which we've already discussed is, is connected to what would be high voltage battery positive. The orange represents the wiring that is only hot when the precharge relay or main relay is energized. Whoop! Jesus! Sorry! <laughs> the gray wires represent the ground side that is energized only when the um, or that is live, I should say, only when the ground side relay is energized. I'm hoping this makes sense, folks. 
and then again here's the path for the precharge into the precharge resistor, out of the precharge resistor, across the relay contacts when the relay is energized, and then it jumps over to here to precharge the high side. Here is the 12 volt wiring. Um, I'll start on the left hand side. We have yellow and purple are the left side high voltage um, positive side relay contacts for on the, on the 12 volt. In the middle are the red and brown wires that are connected to the relay precharge relay coil. And then on the ground side we have the I believe it's blue, yeah, blue and orange 12 volt wires that control the negative side high voltage relay coil. Now, here I threw everything together in one picture, and I'll leave this up for a while um, as I complete the discussion. But again, we have the 12 volt relay coil for the uh, DC negative on the far right in this view. We have the pre-charge relay 12 volt wires represented by the red and brown wire going to these terminals here on the pre-charge relay. We have the positive DC contactor or high voltage relay uh, of purple and yellow and that relay is here. We have high voltage power coming into the leftmost terminal. It goes over to a fuse and this connects to the ground through the fuse to this brown connector right here. I believe that brown connector would be char used for charging the battery because it's fuse protected back to the high voltage battery. So I think the charger connects right here. I'm not 100% sure of that. It could also be uh, the, the power circuit for the battery heaters. I'm not sure how they how they do that. In my case, I don't think I'm going to use either one of these high voltage connections here. Also, the high voltage power is applied to the precharge resistor, runs through the resistor to the relay, and this is important because this, this um, resistor acts as a current limiting resistor so that when the relay, the precharge relay is energized, you don't get a huge spark across the relay coils, which is essentially why this precharge relay and setup is in here to begin with, was to save the main contactor coils. Um, and then when the relay coils are closed, this wire here provides uh, power to the um, load side of the 12 volt relay. On the other side of the picture, on the right hand side, we have the ground on the left side of this relay that's connected to this black connector here and to this black connector here on the, on the gray wire, but only on the gray wire when the relay is energized. On this black side it's hot, or I should say this black connector is connected to high voltage battery ground at all times because it's common with this connection right here. On the right side of the ground relay, main ground relay, the gray wires are only, there's only a path to battery ground when the relay is energized. Just like on the positive side, there's only a path to battery positive when the precharge relay and or the main DC high voltage relay on the positive side are energized. And then lastly on the far right we have the control circuits for the ground side or negative side relay which are orange and, and blue. YouTube, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing if anything we do here helps anybody, and again, I'll leave this um, video up, and I do read the comments. I do respond to as many as I can, so if you have any questions, comments, um, if this helps anybody, you know, add a comment, ring a bell, all that good fun stuff, and um, I'll keep uh, making these overly long, overly complicated videos for your viewing enjoyment or suffering whichever it might be. Zookeeper out.